Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to create a landing page in Webflow. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. So the very first step that we're going to do is to simply go to webflow.com and basically you will be routed here in our landing page. So next step is that we're going to go to our dashboard. With Webflow, you can actually create landing pages, websites with no codes. You just need to simply edit and I will show you in a while how you can do that. So here, basically you would not have a page or site yet. So we're going to click on the new site button and basically we will be routed in this section where we will be asked to select a template. You can actually basically start from scratch or with a blank site if you would want to. But of course, to save time and effort, we could also use from the templates given right here. So not all templates are for free. Just make sure that you try to check the details below the um, templates or the designs to know whether or not it's for free. So here, I'm going to simply search for a landing page um, template there. And here, we can actually see responsive landing page website templates in this section. So there are actually a lot of website or landing page website templates that Webflow has to offer. You just need to check it out. Uh, let's try to see the different kinds of templates that you can actually choose or use using Webflow. Alright. So most of the templates are actually with cost most of the landing pages actually cost and as much as possible we just want to make use of like the free templates that we do have so we're going to go back to our ba basic website templates and right here you can actually see the different kinds of templates available for your landing page now you can just skim through the free website templates that Webflow has to offer. Since I would also, I'm also in my free account here at Webflow, so I'm just gonna make use of the free ones right here. So here I will be using the Uncommon Portfolio website, and I'm just going to simply like um, use it. Now, I'm going to click on the use for free button right here. And basically, it will route us in this section. Now, what we need to do next is to input the name of our site. Since you're creating a landing page, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to also have like the landing pages template from your web flow. It actually depends on you and your creativity and how you can um, design on that one. Okay, now here let's input our site name. So I'm gonna have this Moonstar and let's create the site afterwards. Alright, so basically we will be routed in our Webflow section right here already. And now we will be basically routed in this page or in this section. So what's good about Webflow is that they actually have different kinds of, um, you know, tools like you can go to the desktop view, the mobile view, the tablet view, and the likes. Here in the left hand section, you can actually see the different uh, editing options. Like for instance, we have the navigator right here. So if you want to edit the body, 
now in the right hand you can also like edit the body styles the setting and the likes so it depends on which element that you are actually clicking on and that's how you can simply edit your landing page you can also replace image right here if you would want to now if you want to edit your landing page or the font then you could also do that by simply just selecting um, and backspacing and then just inputting the phrase or the word that you would want to add now here you could also add your CMS uh, collection under pages you could go to different kinds of pages and edit that one out and there you have it So basically what you need to do is to simply just navigate on the buttons here in the left hand corner in order for you to be able to edit all those um, information or sections that you would want to have. So here you could also see your component section, the pages. And here we also have the element trigger. You could also add some animations onto your web page. So you just need to navigate on the interaction section here in the right hand panel. Now here under assets, you can actually use like the free images from Webflow or you could also add and upload your own images in this section. All you need to do is to simply um, click on delete if you want to delete the asset there that is in your web page. There. You could add a new component as well if you would want to. And there you have it. Now, if you're done editing, you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on publish basically. So, there you could also see your domain and um, you just need to click on publish to select the domains. So under staging, you can see right there what is the website that you need to go to when it's published. And that's about it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.